My ninja suit got torn up last night. So I have to wear this. Today's story. Rape culture. But wait there's more. I'm going to show all men. What they are dealing with. What happens to the women? Who were sexually abused by their parents. What happens to the women? Who were molested by teachers. What happens to women? Who are involved in incest. Or other forms of sexual assault. What happens to women? Who were bad at school. Sucked men off. Behind the school building at lunch. The women? Who watches porn in silence. What happens to the women? That lust after men in nightclubs at night. While the men grovel for their attention. First this. Entitlement. Feelings. Magical thinking. Mine mine mine. Gimme gimme gimme. Power tripping. Jealousy. Delusions. Smothering. Treating others as objects. Do you know people who possess these traits? Well. There is a social norm of these folks out there. Who cannot socialize with others. Every relationship they are in dies. Every marriage they enter crumbles. Everything they touch turns to dust. These people spend their lives going around blaming others. For everything wrong in their lives. So who are these people you wonder? Well in DSM. A person with five or more of these traits. Could be seen as a psychopath a narcissist. A borderliner. Or a antisocial. Now what does this mean? It means they have a fucking brain disorder. Now that you know this, my question to you is this, why do you allow these people to rule your lives, pass laws that you have to follow, why do you allow these people to dictate your lives, do you all not know, there are good and bad people out there, and a group of, people, have made themselves so powerful in the world, by using the shaming tactic, and blaming tactic, these people are called feminists, every single feminist, not one single feminist alive do you hear me, not one single feminist alive. I'll say it again, not one feminist alive, walks around without, a chip on her shoulder. You see, feminists are antisocials, borderliners, narcissists. And you're all letting them do whatever the fuck they please. They're betraying men, hurting men, hurting young men. And don't care less. They're showing right to your face. Who they are. And yet you do nothing. Why is this? Why are we letting these brain-dead, self-centered cocksucking sluts tell us how to live? Anyone? Yeah, well, the reason we allow it is because they shame us if we stand up to them, they call us names if we disagree, whatever happened to the saying. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Men think for just one second, before feminism we were the men, now with these whores they're the men. And we are allowing it to happen. Why do girls love the bad boy so much? Because a bad boy treats her like shit. You all don't get it. A woman relies on a man. To guide them. They're emotional beings. Chickens without heads. If you will. It is men who have always. Held them down when they got too full of themselves. Slapped them when they got hysterical. And controlled them. And now men are too scared to grab the woman's wrist and say no. Men the damn change in all of this. Starts with you. You know how fucking easy it is. To make feminism stop. Say no. Dump her move on. Do this to all feminists. Ignore their war cries. Ignore them completely. See them like you see heroin junkies. Ignore them. Seriously every feminist deserves and cannot stand to be ignored. That's why they're everywhere. Men pick up your balls. And slap them in the women's faces. Saying hey bitch fuck no. No 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 no. If you don't like it. There's the fucking door. Get it through your heads men. This is what women are doing to you. They treat you that way. These dumb whores. Think cause they have a pussy and all men want them that it makes them something special. Again the magical thinking. You have to feed them their own medicine. Ignore the emotional crap. You tell her you wanna cry go outside. You wanna whine? Go open the bottle. You wanna bitch. Then you better go find someone else to bitch it. Cause I ain't taking it. These women all lack the same things. Empathy, boundaries, and respect. And until men grab her wrists, saying look here women. I ain't taking that shitty attitude anymore. They will continue to do it. And why you ask? Because they never had leadership. 
guidance, and structure. Again the headless chicken thing. Men take control damn it. Otherwise you ain't men. And thoughts the real being a man thing you hear of. Telling the women no. If she does it anyways you punish her. It's the damn fucking simple. Our world right now is all happening this way because these whores have never been whipped by their dads. Controlled and educated properly. Half these bitches can't even tie their shoes guys. Wake up. Pussy is not everything they make you think it is. It's this pink sleeve. That demands more. Then gives back. I'm out of here again. For now take care. Prepare. And be aware. Bye for now.